hey guys what's up <laughs> um long time no see um yes it has taken a full uh mandated quarantine to uh get me to press record on my camera and film a youtube video it's fine it's okay we're here um i hope that you are all safe and healthy and um keeping to yourselves and not going out unless you absolutely need to. But in the spirit of staying inside, I um, thought I would make a video about how to make a zine, because um, I previously made one, and I've seen a lot of artists come together and make prints or just make physical copies of their work um, to either uh, like raise profits for like a good cause, um, or just themselves that they have lost a lot of work, especially in the music industry or in the service industry. Really anything, if you've lost some income, try to make something um, of your work so you can be financially supported. Since our government doesn't want to do that, um, it's fine. <laughs> a video about how I made a zine. <laughs> um, this is my zine, my little baby. Um, her name is Happy to Be Here, and she's great. Um, I believe it's 36 pages. Um, I'll really get into detail about where I printed, thoughts on paperweight. You really have a lot of options here. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I guess just let's get into it. So the first step is to make up your mind and figure out uh, what kind of theme your zine is gonna be. Um, so it makes that a lot easier to um, pick the photos, pick the other type of content that you want. Ah. Sorry, Michelle. Um, they're just gonna keep falling, I think, so <laughs> um, it's fine. Um, yeah, what kind of uh, photos you want to it. So hopefully you just pick an overarching theme that you want your zine to um, revolve around. I chose um, just unreleased or my favorite photos from a tour that I did. Um, so yeah, they were all here. I just felt like I had a lot of photos just sitting in my hard drive. And I was like, why not? Um, so I made this. So that was basically the first, the first step. Um, pick a theme. The second is to gather up all the photos, the scans, the text, everything that you want to put into the zine, gather it up and put it in one folder. It's gonna be so much easier to find things, to organize um, pages, to organize the whole uh, setup itself. You need to be kind of on top of things or else it's get, it's, it'll get very messy very quickly. So the way that I did it, I just made a folder on my hard drive titled it zine and then um made another folder and put uh images in there or assets or whatever and everything is gonna go into that folder now to assemble um your zine i used indesign it's literally so easy and you see exactly how each page flows with the page that it's right next to or if you're like flipping a page um it makes it so seamless and easy um, and I just highly, highly recommend that. I honestly haven't used any uh, other programs, but that one is just so easy and you probably already have Adobe Creative Cloud anyways, so might as well just use it and it's pretty, pretty user-friendly. There are a couple of, like commands that are different than like Photoshop or uh, obviously Lightroom, but um, you can, you'll learn them. It's a fairly easy program. Another thing to keep in mind is that um, the amount of pages your zine is has to be an even number because um, you can't just like print like 37 pages because a piece of paper has two sides and when uh, it's cut in half, that's four pages, right? Right? Um, and so that's, that's basically why you can't like print 37 pages. You can have 37 pages of photos, but you will have to round up to like 38. It's totally up to you, honestly, how many pages you want it to be. Um, like I said, I think this is like 38 pages and it held up pretty nicely. 
um, and you could I could definitely add like 20 more pages and I think it would still be very sturdy so it's totally up to you how many pages um, you want there to be um, as far as printing this was a huge thing for me and I did a lot of research about it um, just because you want the cheapest quote obviously and you want to keep your costs low I did a lot of searching locally um, at print shops and online at print shops and I found a lot that were like ridiculously expensive I think for the quote I put in like 50 books um, it was gonna be like $400 and I was just like not possible <laughs> um especially for your first release or one of your first releases you don't know the gauge of your audience how how much would actually sell um so i thought that was too expensive and then um a friend uh shout out sophie um she runs luna collective um and they're great so check them out so um she told me about a, a website called nixon and that's where i printed my zine from. that's the website I used to print it and honestly I am so glad I did it with them um, I am so impressed with the quality of the paper the color um, on that paper um, the, the quality of the printing how fast the shipping was there they make sure every step of the way that you know exactly what's being printed and there's no errors and I just really loved working with them. This is not sponsored. I have 10 subscribers, um, but maybe one day. So on Mixum, you can also um, request like a little paper packet. It'll show you the different types of paper finishes, paper denses, um, and just overall like what's it like to print with us. Um, for sizing, this is an eight by a five by five by eight point five like a piece of paper in half and this is exactly the size that I wanted so that's the size that I did. Mixlum has also like different sizes of books you can do so if this um, zine is a little too big too small you can always do something with them. I don't I I'm just being like truthful here I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever they don't know my name but I absolutely loved working with them they made it so easy um, like I said before, you, um, if you do your PDF on InDesign, you're going to have to like export it as a PDF. Um, and then you just directly import that PDF into the Mixum program and it shows you like page one, page two, page three, page four. Um, and they make sure like, this is what you're printing. Are you okay with it? And you have to like sign off on everything. Um, it took about, uh, four days to print and then like four days to ship um, and so it wasn't too long of a timeline from the time that I finished making the zine to the time that I had them. I went fairly quickly. I did 80 pound paper. They have 70, 80, 90, 100 I think from what I remember. Um, I found 70. This is 70. It's just like a little too flimsy for me. Um, so I did the 80 for the inside pages. Like you honestly... On, on a camera you can't tell but an 80 is like the perfect density for me it's not too light but it's not too heavy as well and then um, you can do different paper for the cover and the back so I did a hundred uh, pound weight paper paper <laughs> weight a hundred pound paper y you'll know when you see it okay um, so the the book uh, covers are a little bit thicker gives it a little bit more weight easier to hold stuff like that But I'm really impressed with the color like wow look at the color um, Let's see another color one that was like cool The color on this one is like insane um, So yeah, I highly highly recommend um, Working with Mixum. Honestly, also they're the cheapest ones that I found um I can't, I can't remember like exactly how much it costs, but for 50 books, it was like mm, 120, I think. Um, and so it's really up to you how much money you want to make. Um, you also have to take in consideration how you sell it. Um, I sold it through my website, it has like a store function, um, and I 
use format and they don't take a, a cut from profit from each sale so I didn't have to worry about that but I had to uh, pay PayPal a little percentage of the sale every time um, so just kind of factoring that in factoring shipping factoring shipping materials this is the little shipping container that I got I got like a hundred of these or 50 of them for like eight dollars something dumb like that um, and they're padded um, they're like a nice blue color it really just gives like the person who purchases something from you like a a nice presentation um, that goes with the thing that they bought like it's just a cute like little detail and it wasn't too expensive at all um, shipping um, is actually a little bit cheaper if you buy the shipping label on PayPal um, you save a couple cents and a couple cents for each sale adds up so I highly recommend going through that I also made a little spreadsheet of every person who bought a zine and made sure it had their tracking number just so if anything went wrong I had the number um, and I could tell where the package was thankfully I never had to deal with anything like that but it's just really important to keep yourself organized and at the end of the day this is like a business and so uh, um, you need to be organized and take it seriously um, so yeah those are honestly that's pretty much it again I hope you're staying healthy and safe and inside <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I also have a couple of copies left if you do want to order one or just look at the details and stuff like that. Um, the link will be in the description and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!